I'm Amanda Whetstone, I'm 47 and I live in Chesington, Surrey. I was at work one day, regular day like every other, and found a lump the size of a lemon, um, gave it a good fiddle, you know, it moved. Saw a surgeon or part of the surgical team who very quickly examined me and said, oh, it's, it's just an infected cyst, nothing to worry about. However, however, we'll give you a mammogram just to be on the safe side. But I heard them mention a mass and lymph node, at which point I kind of thought, oh, mm, this might not be quite as straightforward. At the day of diagnosis, I was in a relationship I'd been in um, for two years. He had two children. I don't have any children. Um, we pretty much lived together. Um, I lived with him in his house with his kids in a different county. So the following day, went straight down there and um, wanted to, to talk to him about it. And he didn't want to talk about it. And I was facing the very real prospect that I, I might not be here this time next year. We had a massive row and I left. I, I, I stayed at friends, literally, who lived, who lived just around the corner. I got no help from him whatsoever to take my stuff or even a cuddle. I heard nothing other than a quick text on the day of my surgery saying, I hope everything goes well for you. So I went from being in a loving relationship with a partner that was going to help me and support me in, in every way to suddenly realising I was on my own. It's isolation, again, because I'm different. A, I had a rare form of breast cancer and B, my partner left me. Since having cancer, and, and I have had relationships, and I haven't, I've had normal um, relationships, sexual relationships, um, and yes, sex has been good, however, I don't have the sex drive I had before. Before cancer, I loved my body. It was fat. From diagnosis, it, it you know, it, it changed, my body shape changed, my breast was, I felt hardly there. There was a massive um, lump part of it missing and, and I would hide that. Since then I've put weight on and my breast is actually pretty much normal. You actually wouldn't really know now that i would had breast surgery. I feel as though I've got my femininity back. This, this journey is, is, is so horrendous, it is the roller coaster ride from hell. I think partners, husbands, wives, families need to know that there, there is a support network there for them as well, dealing with you going actually through the disease and its various treatments. And I'm three years since I was diagnosed and there's no way on this earth I could have got through this without Macmillan because they were there before diagnosis, at diagnosis afterwards practical support emotional support and they're still supporting me and it is just such a, a fabulous organization um, to be involved in and they and they care you're part of a really fabulous family for information help or if you just want to chat call the macmillan support line on 0808 808 0000 or visit macmillan.org.uk